Hi guys, welcome to the interview preparation channel. In this video, we will get to know the top 10 frequently asked questions related to exceptional handling. So let's look into this. So the first question is what is the purpose of try catch finally blocks in programming? You have to answer like this. The try catch finally blocks are used for handling exceptions that may occur during the execution of a program. Now, let's check definition for try catch finally block separately. The try block contains the code that may throw an exception. The catch block catches and handles the exception. And, the finally block contains code that is executed regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. Apart from this, you can also see relevant questions which interviewer can ask. Now, you would be able to answer these questions. Next question is, what happens if an exception is thrown in the catch block? If an exception is thrown in the catch block, it will be caught by an outer catch block if one exists. And if there is no outer catch block, the exception will propagate up the call stack until it is caught by the runtime environment. Let's understand by an example. We have a nested try catch block. The inner try block throws an exception by trying to divide 1 by 0, and the inner catch block catches that exception and then throws a new exception. The outer catch block then catches that new exception thrown from the inner catch block, and prints out a message indicating that it caught the exception. If there were no outer catch block in this example, the new exception thrown from the inner catch block would propagate up the call stack until it reached the runtime environment. Next question is, what happens if finally block is omitted? If the finally block is omitted, the resources may not be properly released, which can lead to memory leaks or other issues. Additionally, omitting the finally block can make the code more difficult to read and maintain. Next question is, can we return any value from catch block? If yes, give an example. So the answer is yes, we can return a value from catch block but returning a value from the catch block is optional and also it depends on the specific requirements of program. So in some cases, you may want to return a value from the catch block. For example, if you have a function that returns a value when an exception occurs, you may want to return a default value or an error code from the catch block to indicate that an error occurred. Next question is, what is the order of execution of the try catch finally blocks? So the order of execution is, first try gets executed, then catch and after that finally block gets executed. Please remember, if no exception occurs then order will be try then finally. Next question is, can the finally block be omitted in a try catch block? So the answer is, yes, the finally block can be omitted in a try catch block, but it is generally not recommended. It is typically used to release resources, such as closing database connections or file handles, that were acquired in the try block. Next question is, can you give an example of when you might use a try catch finally block? Here, you can give any example but the common example for which this is used is, when you are reading from a file or database, and you want to make sure that the resources are properly closed, regardless of whether an exception is thrown or not. You would use the try block to read from the file or database, and the catch block to handle any exceptions that are thrown, and the finally block to close the resources. Next question is, can we have multiple catch with one try block? So the answer is, yes, it is possible to have multiple catch blocks with one try block. But the condition is that, each catch block can handle a specific type of exception that may be thrown in the try block. When an exception is thrown in the try block, the corresponding catch block that matches the exception type will be executed. And if there is no catch block that matches the exception type, the exception will propagate up the call stack until it is caught by an outer catch block or the runtime environment. Next question is, can we have try block without catch block? So the answer is, we can use the try block without catch but we should use finally in this case. I have gathered a collection of essential interview questions that may be valuable for you. And, don't forget to check out the channel for more interview questions. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it proves helpful for your interview preparation.